The title of this poem is called Winter Sailing. A featureless leaden sky shields the sun's paltry rays from the lake, now uninviting, even menacing. In this season, the sun can little warm the cold, dark abyss. The surface is whipped into a frenzy, punctuated by angry whitecaps. Waves migrate from the wind's direction to elude its fury, to escape its clutch. On the shores of the lake, trees sway in undulating rhythm, attuned to the gust of the wind, conducted by an unseen maestro to Earth's private symphony. At the dock, the jingling of wind tosses halyards against their metallic mast. It reaches a crescendo like a million tiny bells ringing the symphony continues. Sailboats moored tightly to the season hibernate like recumbent white bears to escape winter's grip. Usually the dock is filled with the sounds of life, laughter, repairs, engines running, and shouting above the wind, but not today. Far away, a lonely apparition on the lake, just visible, is tossed and flattened by the gust. The monohull careens at an uncanny angle and bursts through the waves. Brave sailors remain low in the cockpit, huddled against chilly air. The winter brings unmatched sailing for the hearty, for those with sufficient fortitude to withstand its fury, to tack close haul with unpredictable gusts, buffeting the sails and shaking the rigging intensely, is a both a mental and a physical challenge. Lines must be full at the right moment, else disaster. Sailors must work carefully to ensure against mishaps in this weather. An inadvertent jibe, an unreleased line, an unavailable witch handle, or an unforeseen swinging boom can put the boat and the crew in peril. These challenges demand teamwork, skills, and vision. Every crew member is important. None is superfluous. True winter sailing is only for the best.